All right. So once again, my uh, my European tour. Boop boop boop. My Euro, a pian, motherfucking fucking tour. Uh, I'm go- I am gonna fucking. I am so excited about this tour. All right. I'm so excited. I love going to Europe. I love being everything that they want me to be. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be fat on this one because I've been hitting the elliptical there. But I am gonna be. I'm going to go over there, right? And I'm going to talk to them about the finer points of Donald Trump. That's what I want to do, especially in Scotland, where they had the nerve to call our fucking orange-headed cunt a fucking orange-headed cunt. You got a lot of fucking nerve, Scotland, calling an orange-headed cunt an orange-headed cunt. I mean, why don't you look around your country? There's plenty of orange-headed cunts there. All right? We have, we have very few here. Every once in a while, they run for president when they're in between seasons of their reality show, okay? And what's great about our country is everybody truly does get a chance. Unlike your countries. I have no fucking idea what's going on over there. Evidently, England uh, decided to not be part of the European Union. Is that what happened? I love how, like, as an American, I'm supposed to know this shit. A union that I'm not into. I, I understand what's going on over there. The banks are sewing up all your fucking countries. It's like when you fucking buy a, uh, a co-op, you know, versus a condo. You buy a condo, the person next to you can be a fucking junkie. Who gives a shit? You still got your condo. But if you're in a co-op, playoffs. If you're in a co-op, this is the deal. What you're, you're not buying an apartment. What you're doing is you're buying shares in the building. But now you're tied in with the whole building. So basically, if your neighbors, enough of your neighbors go bankrupt and the whole, the whole building goes under, you lose your shares. And you either have to move out of your apartment or you go back to renting it. And you're like, wait a minute, I thought I bought it. No, 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 sir. You bought shares in the building. You paid your way, but these other cunts didn't. And because they didn't, you go down to the bottom of the lagoon with them. That, to me, is what the European Union is, right? And that's what banks want, right? And they just fucking bankrupt them. And uh, I don't know what the fuck they do. They play that little fucking game. They buy low, and then they fucking go high, and they'll fucking, they pull the money out, and everybody falls in their fucking ass, and then they got another castle. You know? I think that that's how the economy works, right? And it's all run by shapeshifters. Okay, <laughs> Just shit like that. You know what I mean? Especially when I'm in London and those stupid fucking critics show up. Ugh, those fucking guys. Critics are the fucking worst. There's nothing you can do. There's no show that you can have that they're not going to rip the shit out of. And it's just fucking hilarious to me. It's like, I, I don't need critics, all right? If I wanted to feel bad about having a good show, I'd just call my mom. I don't fucking need you to be doing her job. You, all right, whatever. All right, July 31st, everybody. Dublin, Ireland. All right, then August 1st, I'm in Belfast. I've never been there. Belfast, Ireland. The fuck is this Belfast, UK? All right? It's Ireland. I think it's about time England got the fuck out of there. Um, Can you imagine saying that as Americans? Seriously, you know, as we're putting up cheesecake factories in the Middle East. All right, August 1st, Belfast, UK. Um, August 2nd, I'm in Galway, Ireland. Uh, which is way out on the West Coast, and evidently the closest airport is like a fucking hour away from it. So I don't understand what this is. This is, seems like, should I ruin it and actually fucking Google some pictures of it? Galway, Ireland. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. I knew it. I knew it. This is going to be one of these fucking uh, which is a Warlock, one of those fucking movies type cities. Harry Potter. Look at this fucking place. Oh, my God. I'm only spending a day there? Wow. Look at the fucking castles. Holy shit. And I'm going to drive in there, do the show, and then I got to drive right back so I can make my flight. Where the fuck am I going? Did I fuck it up? Where am I going next? All right. I go to, uh, oh, then I fly to uh, Bristol, uh, England, and then Manchester, England, the uh, sober, sophisticated Manchester. I'm thinking that's going to be a nice, mellow crowd. (laughs) 
fucking lunatics. Um, that's what I'm anticipating in Manchester. I, I'm anticipating they're going to be a bunch of fucking lunatics, which is, uh, which is fine by me. I, um, I grew up in Massachusetts, you know. Um, London, England, August 5th and August 6th with the Cunty Critics. Uh, August 7th, I'll be in Amsterdam. And then August 8th, I will be in Edinburgh uh, for two shows. All right, so we got a late show too. Okay. Um, then I got a couple days off where I'll be hanging out with other orange-headed cunts like myself. And then August 11th, I'm in Germany, Cologne, Germany, body wash, Germany. Then August 12th, I'm in Antwerp, Belgium. Oh, look at this. August 27th, I'm in Reno, Reno, Nevada, Reno, Nevada. And at that point, we will be only a couple of months away from that fucking kitchen TV, square-headed fucking safe, crazy-eyed, smiling psycho from becoming the next fucking president of the United States. Oh, that's going to be a rough one. Watching all these ladies saying how fucking, what an important day it is for women. I guess it will be because a woman will be elected president. This is just my prediction here. All right, but uh, Jesus Christ, couldn't we have gotten one that didn't have 58 pending fucking felonies? That's not a red flag to anybody. You know, I don't know. What are you going to do? Those are our choices. I don't know why. A fucking maniac who, uh, you know, doesn't know how to use email properly. You know? <laughs> Just sending out secrets to her friends. Um... And then some fucking guy who's, uh, I don't know, who really should just be a carnival barker. I feel like Trump should just be standing next to some impossible game to win, talking about how it's the greatest game ever, you know, because he hits on underage chicks. Um, I don't know. That's just, that's just the opinions of somebody who uh, can't pronounce words while he reads out loud. What do you, what do you say there, Cleo? 